Hey everybody, I hope you're having a good day. Um, thanks for watching this or clicking on this. Uh, I'm gonna do a video, a short video on uh, a Martin guitar truss rod adjustment. You have to have a special truss rod wrench. This is an Allen wrench, um, but the way Martin guitars are set up, the way they're built, it's difficult to access the truss rod. I did not know that when I bought this. I've never seen most guitars, the truss rod, you can actually see it. You can see the nut right there, the adjustment, or sometimes, you know, like on the Epiphones or Gibsons, they have the plate right here that you can remove and adjust it with, they give you an adjustment wrench. But when I bought this guitar, it didn't come with one, which I thought was kind of weird. Usually when you buy a new guitar, they'll give you a wrench to adjust the truss rod and that kind of stuff. But I did not know this. Some of you guys probably already know this and you're like, duh, he should already know that. But I bought this tool because the truss rod adjustment nut is like recessed way back on this Martin. Like, uh, it's around here somewhere and it's about four or five inches back there. And you have to have a long wrench like that. If you just have like a regular Allen wrench, it's not going to reach. And I was really confused because I, I was trying to stick mine in there. I didn't know if I was reaching it and it wasn't the right size or what. But anyway, this is a five millimeter Allen wrench, hex screw, whatever. Uh, and basically you fit it in that hole there and you basically got to find, just kind of feel around for it. which is kind of difficult. <laughs> it seems unnecessarily difficult almost to me, but I guess that's the way Martin felt was best to design their guitars. But <laughs> I'm actually going to loosen up these, uh, my uh, D and G strings so I can get a little better access to it there. Because uh, I've had this guitar for about a year, and I think when I bought it, it had like gauge 10 strings. I'm pretty sure it did. And I decided to go with a little heavier gauge, and I put these on. These are 11s. And uh, I started to know, uh, notice a little bit of a forward bow in the, tr uh, the, the neck, which is causing the action to be way high down here, which I was a little uncomfortable with. And I didn't know how big of a difference that little bit of string gauge change would make, but it seemed to make quite a bit, more than I thought it would. But... I'm going to go ahead and give the truss rod probably about a quarter turn to uh, maybe compensate for the added tension of those heavier gauge strings. So anyway, this video is mainly just to show because I don't think a lot of people realize that about Martin guitars. That the truss rod is a little bit different than most guitars, but you, you got to put it way back. Uh, I actually, uh, one other thing I want to show you, there's this little plastic uh, sleeve that came on it. You can slide it down. I'm not even sure if that's what this was designed for, but you can slide it down here. And a lot, I've seen videos and I've seen people that have like uh, electrical tape or different felt wrapped around here. Just, you know, I think mainly just to protect the uh, finish around the edge of the sound hole or even protect the strings, which is, I'm not worried about damaging the strings too much, but. Uh, I guess that's important to some, especially if you spend a lot of money, you get like elixirs on there or something. But I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. And it's, it's, a, it's a challenge. This is like the hardest truss rod adjustment. You get, you put it in there and you got to kind of feel around for it in there. And wait, oh, it's in place. I got to get it into position and I'm going to give it about a quarter turn. It's in there now. You can feel it and about a quarter turn, like a quarter of, 360 degrees, which would be over, over here. It feels really tight, but <laughs> kind of scares me a little bit. <laughs> I want to leave it about like that. And I can already tell the difference a little bit. I'm going to leave it like that right now. I'm going to tune it back up and, uh, let's see. I'll give it a little bit. You don't want to like go nuts with a truss rod adjustment. This isn't really a truss rod adjustment tutorial or anything like that but uh you don't want to go nuts with it at first because you might overdo it i like to uh give it a little time to settle i guess you could say but let me get these two strings tuned back up 
Mm -hmm. So I like to slack in these two, the, the two middle strings, so it's a little easier to get in there, gives you a little room to work with without dealing with a bunch of extra tension. And... I actually really like this tuner on this Martin too. It's right in there. I didn't, I did a video on a, a new guitar day video on this guitar about a year ago. And I didn't even know what that was. I didn't even know it was a tuner at the time. I felt kind of stupid later, but <laughs> And people gave me a lot of crap about that video, too, because I banged my guitar on the stool a few times, but, but, you know. I'm better at doing videos now, I think. I don't really do a lot of these types of videos. I do a lot of acoustic covers and, you know, mostly that. Singing and acoustic guitar covers. And I'm going to get this tuned up. It looks like it may need a little bit more of a, a turn. I can see that. Because a forward bow is when the neck's bending out just a little bit. It's like that. Not that drastic, but I'm just trying to demonstrate. Uh, and you... You want maybe a little bit of that. To me, it's like ideal to just have a flat neck. Some guys, you know, some people will say you should have just a little bit of forward bow, which I can't really argue with, but I like for, you can uh, sight down the neck looking down the end of your guitar. And to me, I like for it to look just flat, you know, but <laughs> um, let me finish getting this thing tuned up here. It looks to me like it could use another quarter turn or so. But uh, I kind of just wanted to do this video to uh, demonstrate that it's a little bit different on a Martin because you have to have that. You can't do it without that. It's about recessed in there about four inches or so and you have to have that. And uh, I bought this off of Amazon. I think I spent about $9 on it. This is a Music Nomad truss rod wrench. It's a five millimeter, which I also, I could not find any specs on the Martin when I was trying to look it up what uh, size nut that truss rod adjustment was, but it's a five millimeter hex, hex nut, you know, but uh, anyway, you can, you can find them cheap. You can find them for two or three bucks. So I just bought this one because it had the nice little handle and I figure this is probably something that I'll use for the rest of my life being a guitar geek and uh, I'm always like tweaking my guitars and stuff. I like to adjust them. And this one I haven't actually adjusted yet because I love the way it was set up when I bought it. And uh, I haven't really needed to. I just, uh, I recently put a slightly heavier gauge strings on there. So, and it seemed to affect the truss rod quite a bit, quite a bit more than I thought it would. So uh, anyway, uh, I just wanted to show you guys that if any of you out there have a Martin and maybe you're a little confused because I was confused on how to adjust the truss rod because I had just a regular wrench and I didn't know if it was long enough or it wasn't fitting or if I just couldn't reach but you do have to have that long one like that like that thing right there <laughs> so anyway uh hopefully this will help some of you out some of you guys are probably like duh I already knew that but Anyway, I just wanted to share that information because I haven't really seen a lot of information on that. And I didn't know. It's something I learned. Uh, I've, I've never owned a Martin before this one. I love this guitar and I'll probably buy more eventually. But anyway, uh, that's about all I have to say on that. Thank you guys. Have a good night. Thanks for watching.